This section of the training will go over how to set up tile scans, multi-position captures, and time series acquisitions using the Zen Black software. Once you have found your sample and you have adjusted the parameters for your acquisition, including the image size and your channel laser power, pinhole, and gain settings, you can select the tile scan checkbox at the top left of the software. This will enable the tile scan menu under the multi-dimensional acquisition section. You can also select the show all tick box for this menu to expand the menu options. In Zen Black, you have basic tiling options whereby you can control the number of fields in the horizontal axis and vertical axis. It also tells you the number of pixels and overall size in microns for each axis in your output image. You can adjust the number of fields in both axes to what is required for your acquisition. It's important to note that in the Zeiss software, the current field of view when you select it and set up your tile scan will be the middle of your scan, so be sure to keep this in mind when determining your acquisition. You can select Start Experiment to begin the acquisition. By default, the software will create an overlap between your images, but it will not stitch them into a final output image. You can do this in the Processing tab or using a third-party software. Next, individual stage positions can be stored and visited during the acquisition. This mode is particularly useful for time-lapse experiments or where you need to set up multiple Z-Stacks with slower scan speeds for high-quality imaging. Select the Positions checkbox, which will enable the Positions menu under the Multidimensional Acquisition section. You can then use the live scanning mode to find positions of interest and add them to the list by clicking the Add button. Once you have a list of positions, you want to revisit each point and ensure that it is in focus. Select the live scan again and the first position and click Move To. Then adjust the focus using the focus wheel. When you have found your sample, select Update and repeat this for each position. When you have verified the Z position for each point, you can click Start Experiment. Upon completion, you will have a slide in the Dimensions menu below your image to navigate to the different captured positions. You can also activate Z stacking and positions. Ensure that you are on Center mode for any multi-point acquisition Visit the first point and ensure that it is in focus as before and select the center button on the Z stack menu. When clicking start experiment, it will visit each point and capture a Z stack. Note that here we are only capturing three Z stacks as an example. These will be available as a separate slider in the dimensions tab. One important thing to remember with both tiling and positions is not to move too far around the cover slip if you are using an immersion objective, as you may end up smearing the immersion too thin and damaging the objective. Talk to facility staff about alternate options available for your captures. Live imaging can be performed on systems with incubation and acquisitions are performed using the time series option. To turn on this, select the time series checkbox to activate this menu under the multi-dimensional acquisition section. The basic setup for time series acquisitions is very straightforward. First choose the number of cycles you wish to capture, then choose the interval between these cycles. The interval is measured in either milliseconds, seconds, or minutes. To start the capture, select the Start Experiment button. If you are unsure of how long or how many cycles you will require, you can always set this to a large number and stop the acquisition when required. Also, if you set an interval time less than each cycle's acquisition time, it'll simply capture each cycle consecutively with no break between frames. 
Time series data can be explored using the slider in the Dimensions tab. Importantly, all of the methods shown in this video can be combined with one another for more complex acquisitions. If you have any questions about your requirements, please speak to facility staff.